Okay, so now here we've got Maria's window, looking pretty good. And as you can see, I've already soldered one side together. Now the tricky part here with the window like this, this is a big window, and I have to flip this over because I have to solder the other side. So you got to be really careful when you got a window like this. You have to use the table to lift it and then lift with your hands on top. And I'm going to leave my client in suspense as to what this looks like. So this is all you're going to see of it. But what I do have to do is I have to turn this over and lay it back down on the table. Because I've got to solder the other side. There we go. And it's going to be uneven because, again, i got these knots in the rondelles that are not all going to allow this thing to lay flat. So now what I'm doing here is I got what's called flux, okay? And this flux is what allows the solder to cling to the cane, okay? So I have to flux all the joints, and I have to have enough flux on enough of the joint that it gets a really good grip joining the two canes together. So everything has to be fluxed. So now that I got all my flux down, now I can take this solder and solder the joints. And one of the things you got to be careful about when you do this is your solder iron is hot. You got to melt the solder so it goes to the window, but at the same time you can melt the cane. And that's not good. So your solder has to be, your iron has to be hot enough to melt the solder, but not hot enough to melt the cane. And you do, you usually, and what, what, you do, what you would do is you would test it before you begin so that you know that your cane is going to be okay. Okay, so I got the other side soldered. So now what I need to do is put in the black cement. So I gotta flip this over back to the flat side of the window because black cement is kind of like a putty. Okay, and it's black. It's a black putty. And what this head does is this weatherizes the window. So what I have to do is I have to force it into the cane. And I have to do that with a putty knife. Just force it into the cane. And I have to force it until this seeps out the other side. Okay, because I can't flip this over and do the other side. I have to do this from one side because I have to push down on the glass. And if I flip this over where the knots are and I push down the glass, I'm going to break something. So I have to do this from one side, which means that when I put this cement in, it has to, it has to stuff in from this side and then seep out the other side. And that way I know that the cement is everywhere it needs to be.